Well, welcome once again to Oscar and a cup of coffee, or a cup of coffee and Oscar. Whatever way, right way you want to do it, just grab a cup of coffee and let's uh, let's do this thing. We're gonna do some more uh, traveling in Michigan. This time we're gonna do a little fishing. Uh, there's a great spot that my uh, future son-in-law took me to that uh, I didn't catch much. I caught some driftwood. He caught some pretty good-sized walleye. But uh, it's fishing in Ishpeming. Yeah, I got to see some amazing sights uh, and and. The one thing about this place, if you look around, you'll see no signs of man, <laughs> put it that way. Just trees and rocks and, and just, you know, one, uh, the, the one thing that just surprised me is I look up and I see this eagle flying, running away from a, uh, a, a red-winged blackbird. Unbelievable. <laughs> this huge eagle running away from a red-winged blackbird. Anyway, here it is. We're going to go fishing. So enjoy yourself, grab a cup of coffee, and let's have some fun. All right, so we're heading out. Now, what is this lake called? Deer Lake. On Deer Lake in Ishpeming. Ishpeming. By where did the Upers hang out? True Uper Paradise. True, yep, Uper Paradise here. And uh, this is a catch and release lake, so. We're not going to keep anything, but hopefully we're going to catch them. So that's all I got for you at the moment. Yeah, that's kind of pretty over there. That's pretty, pretty sweet looking. Sure no, sweet. It's like there's no, uh, there's hills, but there's like no, no houses anywhere. This is the real McCoy. So do we got anybody playing banjos around here? No banjos yet. No pork rhymes, pork rhymes, whatever. No <laughs> oh, banjos. No oh, banjos so far. Eh. I mean, come on, we're in uh, the Uper country here. You never know. Right. Hey. Hey, that guy, that guy that we talked to was kind of sounded like he's, he's definitely from around here, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, we ain't got nothing yet. We didn't get any, uh, any too many hits there, eh? Hey. A few nipples, eh? <laughs> Another thing I want to talk about real quick is uh, my my fisher rod that uh, that Nate Tanya got me for Father's Day. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a closed face reel, about five foot six. We're not sure on it yet. We'll find out. It kind of makes it kind of makes it sound like. Oh, it hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Stop! It hurts me. The drag sounds. The drag hurts. Oh! You'll hear that coming up here once we catch a fish. <laughs> so we don't know yet. It could signify blood, is what I'm thinking. Now there's a star of the show. There's a star of the show. That's Mickey. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it, it? Woohoo! <laughs> Mickey! <laughs> you almost lost him. I almost lost him. Uh, he now, hates me right now, but he's smiling. Yeah, Amanda told me that if, if Mickey falls in, then I'm supposed to, when you go to grab him, I'm supposed to push you, push you in all the way, and then grab Mickey. Yeah. So. Listen to the power of this motor. I hear it. 30 pound thrust, which probably equivalates to a quarter of a mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> We're kicking it, man. We're hard. Are we ready to troll? We're driving it home. Are we ready to be trolls? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. okay. I'll turn my camera off and we'll be trolls. Another spot. You know, so far no action, but that's where we came from. Only fished for about maybe a 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Now we're going into another section of the lake over here. Still no houses to be seen. Still no people. Rocks. Here, spot here. Oh, right uh, over here. Is that where you're going right in there? Yep. About the big rock. Rock. There's a big rock over there. There's a rock over there. We're going to rock over here. It is pretty calm right there, though. Rock City. <laughs> we're not in Detroit. Now we're in Ishpeming. Oh, yeah. So you got, you got quite a bit of lake over there, too. Yeah. But not one house. This is just, it's just, it's untouched in a sense, you know. I that's mean, I know weird. people are here, but I mean, there's when nobody. When I was a little kid, that's what I, I liked about my life. I was untouched. 
That's a good life. Yeah, that's a good life when you're when you're untouched. You don't have any don't have any, me. any bad people touching you. Yep, yeah, that's right. That is true. That is a good life. Basically, life similar, similar. Life. Yeah. Similarity. Untouched. All right, let's do some fishing. All right. Water down. Resume it here. It will be. It will all be untouched. What is that over there? Is that a? That's just a tree coming out of a branch or something, isn't it? Don't cast to the left, it's really weedy. Yeah, I see that. That's like in front of you. In front of me? Okay. So, here we go. Yes. Yep. Oscar with his first fish. I think. I, don't, I think it's still there. It's still on. Here, tighten your drag up a little bit. You're in. There it goes. Okay. Reeling her in. His pole's whining in agony. Oh yeah, now I got it. <laughs> oh, he was just pulling me back, wasn't he? Yeah. Is it fighting or? Oh yeah. Okay. So it's not a snag. It might be a snag. It might be a snag. You think it's a snag? It might be. Oh man. First fish of the day. It's pulling us. It. Yeah. It's pulling us towards there, so I think it's a snag. Turn her off. We're we'll fishing near the shore here. Yeah, we're fishing by the rock now. Yeah, it was just a snag, unfortunately. Luckily, we got it loose, so. Yeah. But we're back in order, back yeah. in business. By the rocks in Ishkbaming <laughs> on Deer Lake. Deer Lake. Deer Lake in Ishpeming, Michigan. 49841. A? A. Little guy. Coming up. <laughs> Mickey's excited. Don't get the slime, Mickey. Little little walleye. Not much there. Not much substance. Hey, we well got you got better than I got. I just got another snag. There she is. It's got teeth, Mickey. Can't watch it, Mickey. You can bite. <laughs> Get up. That's a nice size wall, isn't it? Not for a wall. Not for this lake. No. No, there's a lot bigger in here. Okay. Ah, it's okay. Okay. It. <laughs> About to catch some fish. Okay, this is the place, right? This is your spot? Yep. Well, this is, this is your daughter's spot. And. I swear by this spot. And there's a spot where you broke a pole and broke a pole lost your net. And I break off probably like four or five times every fishing trip here. Cool. Man, it breaks off like once at the most. Might be a father daughter thing. <laughs> Ishbaming. Here we come. Father daughter thing. Deer Lake. Deer. We're ready for your fish, buddy. Double O's spot. Well, I really hate to say it, but we're not doing so well today, are we, buddy? Get that anchor up. Got a log on it. This is the same That's one. That's the same that log you threw down that you got, got caught on. <laughs> you piece of shit. Look how. <laughs> like a sword. You had to pull it in, man. Careful. Hold, hold on. Let me get this uh, stuff out of the way. So you got the anchor up. Mickey's really disappointing because we only got one fish so far. He says, "Let me look the let me look the anchor. It tastes like fish." <laughs> Ah, we're gonna hit the brick. So we're gonna try another spot, right? Ooh, yeah. Whee. Bring it over to the dam. The dam dam. The dam dam? Yeah. The only man made thing on this place, right? Gosh darn right, dam. Ooh, look at that rock down there. Ooh. Maybe. You don't want to hit that. That'd be kind of slippery too, I bet. Slippery, slippery. Looks like somebody going up there though. That looks like a trail, don't you think? Yeah. Of course, it could be a bear. I was just thinking it'd be nice to see a bear, and then I thought, well, this boat's kind of slow. Bears can swim. That might not be too they fun. Swim how far? I don't know how far they swim. I have no idea. Or I've never seen a bear, so I wouldn't they even like know. Except the zoo. They like sweet stuff. Oh, we got plenty of we got plenty of Winter. juicy Twizzlers or whatever the hell they are. By Kenny's. By Ken. <laughs> We could always throw them, Mickey. No, we oh, wouldn't do that, Mickey. We might, but no, I don't think so. I think we'd let, we'd we'd throw Harley before we threw you, Mickey. I cut off my arm, Mickey, before <laughs> I throw you. 
Hold on, bear. I'm trying to come. So anyway, just bending my hook back. I heard a truck way over there. There's like nobody else on this lake, I don't think, but us. And not even bear. You might just stop right here and cast. <clears throat> yeah, what the heck? Give it a shot. We'll try this place. Give it a little shot here. But if you can see, I, I don't know if I can zoom or not without getting it all crookedy and stuff. But there's the road. Way over there. Yeah, I don't know if you see that. But you know, actually, that's the only sign of civilization where the uh, road and the uh, antenna and the uh, telephone wires are. They realize there's nothing. Nothing around here. I just can't believe that. I really can't. That there's nothing built around here. Americans actually left this place alone. Must be a state ruling or something. God damn Americans. <laughs> Got to be a state ruling or something because I've never seen a place. Americans are bastards. Left alone. Just like the place we went yesterday though. The uh, With the metal statues. You know, the iron oh, statues. Yeah. People just respect that. Yeah, they must respect it. They leave it alone. They don't mark it all up and carve their names in it or all that kind of good crap. Yeah. It's the UP for you. There you go. It's the Uppers, man. The Uppers. The Uppers respect. Uper respect. Respect, eh? It ain't respect. It's Uper respect. It's Uper respect. Mm. All right, over and out. <laughs> you're getting pissed because you're not catching any fish, right? So is Mickey, he's just out here smithing your shoes. Yeah, he likes dirty stuff. <laughs> Alright. Right next to the rocks. How could you imagine? You look all the way up, it's all rocks. Kid rock. Yeah, you could build yourself a little cavern here. You could be the mountain boy. Mountain <laughs> boy. Go fishing. <laughs> mountain boy Harley. Go fishing at night, no one even know you. That's right, you'd be fishing off the top of that ledge up there. That'd <laughs> be wild. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, fishing. Hey, look, it's his it's fishing boat Hurley. He's up on that ledge. Well, that ledge, then you look and I'd be gone. <laughs> Disappear into a hey, rock. Hey, hey, look. Walk into a rock. He'd be playing his banjo. <laughs> Made a rock. Made a rock. <laughs> but look, it's rock all the way down. It's pretty cool. In Ishkaming, Ishkaming, Ishkaming. Very cool. At least, at least we got some really cool rock. Not no fish, but we got cool rock. You need to catch one there. Yep. You need to catch some fish in that rock. Look at right in there. You probably could live right in that area right there. Can you, can you climb there. that? Could I? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe. If I really tried. I fall once. Hey, Mando yell at me for asking you, huh? Yeah. Don't dare him, heart and dad. I'll dare you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got you got a major snag going on there, buddy. Right by the rocks. Ooh, ooh I either got a snag or a bite. I got a snag. Oh, I got a bite. I think. Oh, it was a snag. <laughs> Look at those rocks. Those rocks are just way too cool. The second week of deer camp and all the guys are here. We drink play cards and shoot the bull but Where never shoot the deer. Where are you? If you can't hear me, just say something! <laughs> those are car parts. up in the woodshed with two thousand empty beers I came looking for a full one and I must Bring your have passed out here I crawl out through the door and I run smack into a buck He was eating all the apples from the that back of Rudy's trunk I grab him by the back legs and he drags me through the snow But when he jumps a barbed wire fence I have to let him go It's the second week of deer camp There's one more day to go Is growing and nobody got a deer. But there's only 50 weeks to go and we'll on the website. Yeah. I go crawling down the road and alley oop comes whizzing by. For a guy that weighs 300 pounds, that oop can really fly. 
I take a look behind me and here comes a big black bear. If I make it back to camp, I'll have to change my underwear. A bear goes by the both of us and runs right through the door. He's breaking up the card game. It sounds just like a war. It's the second week of deer camp. There's one more day to go. We haven't had a shaver last since 14 days ago. The empty pile is growing and nobody got a deer. But there's only 50 weeks to go and we'll be back a year. Bruno's cooking bear meat, but no one wants to eat. Cause everything that Bruno cooks smells like Mungo's feet. The poker game's still going and the beer is getting low. All around the deer camp there's a ring of yellow snow. The bucks we won in poker are the only bucks we got. We spent two weeks in deer camp and never fired a shot. It's the second week of deer camp. There's one more day to go. We haven't had a shave or bat since 14 days. It's quite the bomb there. You can fit in here. This is a huge chair where we got our beautiful pictures in. What do you think? Do we look good in it? We did. I think so. I want the number to that person that called yesterday with that garage for sale. Okay, just a second here. Yep, here it is. No, no, sir, that was a garage sale. Yeah, that's what I said, a uh, garage for sale. I want to know if that garage got windows and how big the door is and if I got to take it apart. No, no, sir, you're, you're all confused. That was a garage sale. They sell stuff inside the garage like kids' clothes and rakes and tools and stuff. That's what you were advertising yesterday on the radio. There's a garage for sale. That's why I called you. No, I no, get that garage. no, a garage sale. Kind of cool. They got steps going up to it. But you slide way back, so it's easier to slide out the sides. Looks like Ronald Reagan taking a Deuper trip on the pontoon. They sell stuff inside. I don't care about that stuff. They can keep that. I want to buy that garage and I want to move it to my camp. I want to make a good wood set over there with that garage. Bicycle built for one, two, three, four, five. The Uper sure assault is, vehicle. But, uh, no, you gotta buy the stuff inside the inside the garage. It's a garage sale. <laughs> yeah, the assault vehicle's got a Volkswagen engine on it, there. <laughs> you got the moped and you got the the beer cup too. And that's a snowmobile. That's one of his Marv special. Well, Marvin specials. There's a big bike. I wonder if that guy that did those works over there in that one place we saw did these. Yeah. Kind of looks like it, don't it? Yeah. yeah. Another plow truck. The snowmobile with motorcycle tires in the front. I know it's getting a motorcycle wheel on the back. And I know we had a date. Snowmobile, four-wheel snowmobile. There you go. I hate to and make you wait, cause it can't go be for so a beer. Great to see ya. And here's fall from my That's a pretty good sized car. And I must apologize, Lucia. I'll have to stay at hey. home, so I call you the on famous the deer phone. camp. Cause I'm stuck here on the throne with diarrhea I thought that it was only gas You get a picture in here? So I went and let one pass Then I stood there in a trance As I filled my brand new pants My mother brought me soup but it only a made Arnold me and James in the back. Lucia. 
I never should have ate, but it sounded like a great idea. You know it really hurts when you got the Hershey squirts, Lucia. There's no paper to be seen, so I use People magazine, and it makes me wanna scream. Diarrhea. Like a small camp here, huh? Well, or maybe a fishing shanty. But I can't go out with liquid bars. I wouldn't have to oh, I got chainsaws. If only I could constipate. I know you got the hots, but I really got the trucks. Lucia. Hey, you there, hon? Are you there? No need to scream and there shout, she is. Cause tomorrow we'll go up. Yay. I guarantee you. Kind of went a little too far, huh? Yeah. Oh, a little too big? I know <laughs> you need your man. So I came up with a plan. Lucia. I'll take a cord and that. super glue. That I'll is. I'll in there with my shoe. And then I'll be all through. With diarrhea. I think take a picture. I should probably should take a picture of this, huh? Yeah, she's a cutie. You have been listening to YOP Radio, the two-watt radio giant of Cooper Lake. YOP Radio is owned and operated by You Guys Records Inc. Any persons making tapes of any of our programming will be taken out at high noon and shot. Thank you for listening. This includes our broadcasting day. And now for the Packer Backer Anthem.